Whenever you're seeing this, I want you to know that the Holy Spirit is releasing into your hands keys, keys that are going to lead to new opportunities, new relationships. And I want to read a scripture to you because Jesus is alive. He is resurrected. He is not still up there on that cross. He's not in a grave anywhere. And we serve, we serve a king who is alive. And I believe if you're seeing this, this is what changes everything is the resurrection. And I believe that the spirit of resurrection is here. And I just release, I release the spirit of resurrection over you right now. Every spirit of death, every spirit that has stripped you of life, every attempt of any demon, any demonic force that has been coming against your life, I just release the spirit of resurrection over you. Everything that was dead is coming back to life. This is a Lazarus moment for you. And I want to read this because John has an encounter with Jesus and it's about the book of Revelation. And John receives a vision of, uh, that shows him the beginning from the end. And it says this, when I saw him, I fell down at his feet as good as dead, but he laid his right hand on me. And I want, to I want you to imagine right now, wherever you are, that the hand of the Lord is on your right shoulder. And I heard his reassuring voice saying, do not yield to fear. I am the beginning and the end, the living one. The spirit of the Lord wants you to know he is the living one. He is the one, he is the author of life. He is the author of life. I was dead, but now look, I am alive forever and I hold the keys to unlock death and the unseen world. And I want you to know that God is releasing his keys into your hand. His, his keys that are going to lead to, to you being put into positions of authority, into opportunities that where you can bring about the kingdom of God in those environments. And I want to read something to you. Um, I'm going to read it how the Lord gave it to me. I should already have this open. But the, the Spirit of the Lord spoke to me a couple weeks ago now. And it just, John, th this word started from John chapter 11, verse 4. And it's the story of Lazarus coming back from the, the dead when Jesus has come forth. But when Jesus heard this news, it says, when he heard this, he said, this sickness will not end in death. And I prophesy that this sickness, this defeat, the things that you've been facing will not end in death. Death is not how this story is going to end. Death is not how your story is going to end. You will see the things that the Lord has for you in the land of the living, in this life. But this will bring glory and praise to God. This will reveal the greatness of the Son of God by what takes place. What's getting ready to take place is going to bring about such praise, praise that I don't even think that has been unlocked in your heart. It is going to be a praise because where God is taking you, praise is your weapon and God has to unlock praise on the inside of you because the glory of God is getting ready to overtake you. And it says, then Jesus made it plain to them, Lazarus is dead. There was no arguing that. And for your sake, I'm glad I wasn't there because now you have another opportunity. And I believe that the Spirit of the Lord is highlighting another opportunity. This is another opportunity to believe and to trust more than you ever have before. And as I went about my day, when I received John chapter 11, verse 4, and I knew that Jesus, it's on the heart of the Lord right now to know that his church in that he wants people to know that he is the resurrection, that he is the living one. He is not the dead one. His image, he is not still up there on the cross. He was crucified. His blood was shed, but he is alive. He is here. And I just, I believe even right now by faith that, that Jesus Christ is here. He is alive in this video. He is alive in the atmosphere that you are in. Life is breaking forth. Resurrection is breaking forth. Mm. And I want to give you, the Lord spoke to me later that day after he gave me John 11. And this is what he says. Everything you thought was dead is about to come back to life. I am saying, come forth out of your grave clothes. People will witness my resurrection power like never before. Dead things will come back to life. Dead things. 
Areas where you have failed, I will save. Areas that you thought were over will come back to life. There are dreams that you thought were over, but this is the season where you're going to see it come back to life. Relationships that failed in previous seasons, you're going to see them come back to life. Things that God had called you into that you had quit, God is awakening those very areas in your life. And it is for the glory of God for this to happen. This is about God's glory. The only thing that can matter in your life that needs to matter in your life in this season is the glory of God. It is for the glory of God for this to happen because people will witness me through you. My heart is for people to know me. Many people will come to know me during this resurrection in your life. You will become a witness to the nations and they will become attracted to your light in a way that you've never seen in a way that you've never seen. And I will fill your mouth with my heart and my voice. A time of great awakening is upon you. Unprecedented miracles are upon you. They are breaking out, so brace yourself. And even just as I was reading this, there are things that you have called dead, but in the eyes of the Lord, they're just asleep. And so God is coming into your life. He, 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 this is, thank you, Holy Spirit. These knocks that you have been feeling is, is the Lord Jesus saying what he said to Lazarus is come forth. There are identities that you have been carrying around that have produced nothing but death. There are ideas that you have held on to even about him, about the father that you need to let go of in this season. Every image about the father was cleared up in Jesus. When Jesus said, you, when you've seen me, you've seen the father. And so I just wanna prophesy this over your life, that every dead thing that you thought was over, you're about to see it come forth. You're about to see it come back to life. And when this begins to happen, you need to brace yourself because people will be so drawn to your light. You will not even have to try. People are going to know that they know that God is among you. I hear the Lord saying that exactly what he said to Joshua. People are going to know that I am with you. People will know in this season that God is with you for what he's getting ready to do. And so I ask you, Holy Spirit, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for you to come forth and to release the spirit of resurrection over every person underneath the sound of my voice. I pray that you would release and you would begin to breathe upon them and that you would begin to call forth. I see the spirit of the Lord calling forth the Christ within you. You have been born again. And the spirit of the Lord is, is no longer wanting you to doubt your identity in Christ. He is calling forth the kingdom. He is calling forth Christ within you. The hope of glory is on the inside of you. And he's calling it forth and he's saying, come out of your grave clothes, take off what is worn out, let go of that old wineskin and watch what I'm getting ready to do in your life. And so I ask you, Holy Spirit, right now to invade heaven, invade that atmosphere, release your glory, release it right now in your holy name that I pray. Amen. 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 I want you to re receive this common amen. You're coming into a great time of resurrection. Dead things are coming back to life for you and your family. You are not going to just know him as a crucified savior. You are going to know him as the living one who is alive. He is living among us. He is living among you. It is so on his heart right now for you to know that he is living. He is alive. He is alive right now. Goodness gracious, I feel some of you are experiencing his presence. I feel the Lord. I feel him so heavy. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Some of you just need to comment that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you guys.